Hi, I'm Lily and I'm going to show you how to take your home test kit and read your results. First things first, before you start, check you've got everything you need. In your kit, you should have instructions, one swab, an extraction tube, an extraction tube holder, a buffer sachet, a test strip and a plastic bag. To set up the test, take the strip out of the sealed packaging and place it onto a cleaned flat surface. Once you've opened it, start the test within 30 minutes. Next, twist open the sachet. Make sure you open it away from your face and be careful not to spill any of the liquid. Open the tube and gently squeeze all of the liquid from the sachet into the extraction tube. Try not to let the sachet touch against the tube. Pop the filled tube in the extraction tube holder, which is inside the box. This will stop any liquid from spilling out. Once the kit is all set up, blow your nose to make sure nothing interferes with the test. Then wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds or use a hand sanitizer. Now let's get stuck into the details. I'm going to show you how to swab your throat and nose. Step one, open the swab stick end first. It's important you don't touch the fabric end of the swab. If the fabric end of the swab does touch something else, the results won't process properly. Step two, let's start with the throat. Using a mirror, take a look at the back of your throat towards your tonsil area. This bit is really important. It is vital you don't get any additional germs on the swab accidentally by touching your teeth, tongue or gums. The next part is important. Holding the stick end of the swab, open your mouth and rub the fabric end across your tonsils four times. Remove the swab carefully without touching anything else inside of your mouth. Step three, using the same swab as you used in your mouth, you now need to swab the inside of your nose. To do this, you need to insert the swab inside of the nostril, making sure you don't touch any other part of your face. You need to insert the swab into your nostril until you feel resistance. Once inside, rotate the swab 10 times against the inside of the nose, then carefully remove the swab. Keep holding onto the swab and do not let it touch anything else. Now it's time to process the swab sample. Pick up the extraction tube and place the fabric tip of the swab into the extraction tube so it's in the liquid. Press the tip against the edge of the tube with force whilst rotating it around the extraction tube for 15 seconds. Doing this, make sure that your sample is transferred into the liquid. Now it's time to remove the swab from the tube. Make sure you remove all of the liquid from the soft tip of the swab by pinching the tube against the swab as you remove it, like this. Press the cap lightly on the tube to avoid any leaks. You can put the swab in the plastic bag provided. Gently squeeze the extraction tube to place two drops of the liquid onto the bit of the test strip that's marked with an S. This is called the specimen well. Make sure you are dropping liquid and not an air bubble. Once that's done, you can put the extraction tube in the plastic bag with the swab. It's time to wait for your results. Set a timer for 30 minutes. It's really important to wait the full 30 minutes before you read your result, as they may vary before this. Don't leave it to develop longer than 30 minutes though, or the results will be void. Once 30 minutes has passed, take a look to find out your result. As you can see, there are two lines, one labelled C, and the other labelled T. One line next to C shows the test is negative. If there are two lines, one next to C and one next to T, even if they are faint lines, this means that the test is positive. If there are no lines showing or one line next to T, your test is void. That's the test done. Important next steps. If your test is negative, you need to report it online. If positive, You'll need to let your school or college know and also record it online. Thank you for playing your part in keeping Wales safe.